Joining us now to deep further into the DeFi markets as well as Asia is Haseeb Qureshi, managing partner at crypto investment firm Dragonfly Capital. Hello there, Haseeb. So uh, we, you just heard from David. You know, there's a lot of excitement, at least in the ETF world in, in the U.S., but mm -hmm. is that having an impact on DeFi as well as Asia and, and all the investment there? Well, I mean, right now, thankfully, the U.S. has put the rest of the world economy on its back with respect to crypto. So the ETF and all the excitement that we're seeing around DeFi, um, you know, right now, Asia is lagging a little bit because of the situation that's going on in mainland China. Uh, the, the recent China ban has scattered a lot of the energy that we were seeing earlier in the year in Asia, but a lot of it is reconstituting itself now. So what we've seen from the beginning of the year is that um, since China has turned more aggressive against crypto, a lot of the Chinese founders and Chinese companies have migrated out of mainland China into Singapore. Singapore now feels like the center of gravity of crypto in Asia, where it's, it's, it's very similar to what Switzerland felt like uh, back in 2017, where a lot of the talent comes from China, a lot of the engineers, the people with ideas, the innovations, um, but if they want to build something real, they end up going to Singapore. And that's where they set up shop. That's where they incorporate. That's where they move their engineering teams. Um, and so that's where we're seeing a lot of action now, which is a big, a big change from what we were seeing just a year ago. Oh, I think, Emily, you're on mute. Sorry. Can you tell us a little bit about what's happening with actually the Chinese market? Um, you know, China, as we know, is like a huge center for crypto trade and um right. the the chinese government has definitely closed a lot of the loopholes but do you have a sense of like what's happening with crypto trading there and and you know on, on the retail side and how big an impact we're going to see um from these new restrictions yeah so the restrictions are significant so basically what happened in, in mainland china is that the two major onshore exchanges okx and Huobi, uh when the China ban took place, uh, almost immediately they announced that they were going to start putting restrictions on new users coming in from mainland China. Um, the, basically, this meant no new signups. So if you're a new user from mainland China, you cannot get onto these platforms. Um, both the platforms are going to sunset users from mainland China um, at some point this year. Uh, I believe both of them have not done so yet, but there, there's already a planned date during which uh, essentially everything's going to turn off. So if you don't have your money out by then, then you're not going to be able to trade anymore on the platform. Um, so the, the, the status quo is that, you know, when the China ban took place, speaking of DeFi, uh, at the same time, there were a bunch of, uh, there were a bunch of websites that were applicable to DeFi, like uniswap.org and, uh, you know, coin, coin gecko and, and things like that, that people were using as part of the DeFi suite that, uh, almost immediately, got put under the Great Firewall, such that Chinese users could no longer access them without using a VPN. Now, that being said, lots of users in China know how to use VPNs. So we, you know, if you were participating in crypto and you wanted to get access to Twitter or Medium, then you needed to have a VPN in the first place in order to get information, especially in 2021, when so much of what's happening in crypto is NFTs, is these new, you know, airdrops and, and auctions. And if you want to be playing that game, you needed to have access to this information. So a lot of the users and a lot of the communities in China are still actually thriving, even in spite of this, uh, but they, they now have to kind of play on the VPN game, which is very similar to how it was actually before, uh, you know, in the 2017, 2018 period. Um, so a lot of users in China have been through this and they, they, they understand, okay, this is just what I got to do now if I want to continue playing in DeFi. So Haseeb, where are you putting your money? What are you investing in? So we're, we're still investing in the early stage. Uh, I mean, a lot of the founders now that we're backing, it used to be that we were backing a lot of founders in mainland China. Um, at this point, again, the founders are, they might come from mainland China, but they end up moving into Singapore and try to serve the Pan-Asia market as opposed to only serving mainland China. It, it doesn't really feel tenable anymore to have companies that are primarily serving mainland China. Um, but one thing that's for sure is that, you know, DeFi is incredibly popular in China. I mean, this is the reason why China crack down on, on DeFi so aggressively is because they realize, look, as a country that relies a, a tremendous amount on capital controls, you know, you're speaking of Nigeria earlier in the segment, um, as a country that relies on capital controls, DeFi is kind of the opposite of capital controls. DeFi is the idea that anybody can do whatever they want. And so a lot of the demand, uh, and actually one of the things that was cited in the, 
um, in the original uh, ban on on cryptocurrencies, they weren't talking about Ether and Dogecoin and all these other things. They were they, they said Bitcoin and Tether. Those are the two things they really didn't want to see, uh, you know, draining uh, domestic, uh, dr basically draining the demand for the RMB. So uh, that I think is is the big story within China. And so for us, um, we're really looking for for uh, on the DeFi side protocols that can serve the entire world because the users who are in China and or who leave China or have access to offshore banking, uh, those users are still very live and active in the in the DeFi ecosystem. And I think they'll be served by all the innovations that end up coming to DeFi.